and Stephanie Abrams. Everything you need to start your day right. And good morning, everybody. Welcome to Wake Up With Al for this Tuesday, June 29th. Welcome to Wake Up With Al. I'm Al Roker, live in New York. Stephanie Abrams is live in South Padre Island, Texas, tracking Tropical Storm. Alex, Steph, good morning. Good morning to you, Al, and good morning to you at home. And right now, Alex is strengthening, Al. It could get as strong as a Category 2 hurricane. We'll let everyone know when exactly that will happen coming up in a live report. All righty, and... Um... Let's see, we also are going to be all along, we've got it all covered from preparations along the coast of Texas to the latest timing in the track. Hurricane expert Dr. Rick Nabb has those details. We're also looking more into the potential effects Alex is going to have on the oil spill cleanup. But we're going to start off with Stephanie in South Padre Island. Steph? Yeah, believe it or not, Al, here on South Padre Island, even though Alex is still a couple days away from making landfall, there are voluntary evacuations that are being ordered by the mayor here. And if you remember, just a couple of years ago, there was Hurricane Dolly that made landfall and did a lot of damage to South Padre Island. And some of those memories are still very fresh. This is what coastal residents of Texas are fearing and preparing for right now. We really need to be prepared and ready for anything. The storm is tracking landfall Thursday morning. A voluntary evacuation has been ordered. Some residents in Alex's expected path aren't taking any chances. They're boarding up and packing up. And as those move out, others are now moving in, offering help if it's needed. The disaster relief group Texas Baptist are prepared to make 20,000 meals a day. We'll be there uh, in a startup, and we'll be there until they tell us that they don't need us any longer. From the air, hurricane hunters make routine reconnaissance missions, watching and waiting for the unknown. However, what is known this morning is that Alex is packing high winds, heavy rains, and has FEMA on high alert. The Coast Guard's been watching it closely, talking to the Hurricane Center. It looks like Alex is far enough west, not to have any direct impacts, but a hurricane watch went up. So now the attention turns to those folks in the hurricane watch along the Texas coast. Now, we can't tell you exactly where uh, Alex will be making landfall, but Al, obviously, it looks like it'll be right here along the Rio Grande. And uh, we could see similar situations to Dolly with rainfall amounts up to 10 inches and a surge three to four feet. Even though Dolly was a Category 1, this could actually be stronger as a Category 2. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. And, of course, we want to go to the man who has some more of these answers. We're going to check in with Dr. Rick Nabb, our hurricane expert. He joins us now. And, and Dr. Nabb, have they updated uh, as far as watches and warnings hey, along I'm the coast now? I'm not able to now? hear you, but I think uh, you're talking about uh, Tropical Storm Alex here. Uh, I'm going to give you the latest update and information based on the 4 a.m. Central Time Advisory from the National Hurricane Center. And the reconnaissance aircraft data that was in there overnight and uh, also analysis of satellite imagery indicates that the system is now getting to be, uh, let me move over to my source here, is now getting to be very close to becoming a hurricane. Maximum sustained winds of about 70 miles per hour and it's moving off to the north-northwest at about 8 miles per hour. The pressure is relatively low for a tropical storm and often the pressure falls before the winds catch up and this is a pressure very typical of some hurricanes so uh, it is not going to be long we don't think today before uh, uh, Tropical Storm Alex becomes a hurricane, moving north-northwest at 8. It hadn't moved much since yesterday, but it's starting to move, and we think that a ridge is going to build off to the north of it and start pushing this off to the left at some point. Exactly when that turn occurs, of course, is very critical. The maximum winds it will probably increase to hurricane strength sometime today and maybe become a Category 2 hurricane before making landfall somewhere in South Texas or northern Mexico, Al. All right, Dr. Rick Nabb, thanks so much. We'll check back with you in about 20 minutes.